Installed. Oh my god! Right, so it's a size 2 slot. I've got a cargo rack, which is a 2 slot. So... Where was it? Where is it? <laughs> it's in here somewhere, damn it. There it is. Planetary Vehicle Hangar H. Which is 12 tons. Or you've got another one here, which is 6 tons. Which is a Class G. I'm going to keep going. See if there's any more. I don't want to buy a cheap one and find out. Oh no, it looks like that's the best one. Um, unless there's a reason for it being larger. There's... I'll get the Class G because it's lightweight. But it says requires vehicle bays. Okay. So... So I'm switching up for my cargo rack. Right now, what else could I skip on? The sensor suite? Mm, not really. Oh, empty slot, vehicle slot. Equip. SRV Scarab. Vehicle bay for planetary vehicle hangar, fully equipped to maintain a Scarab, includes one vehicle as standard. Nice! So I've got my little car, but then what did this say? It said something about... Whoa, what the hell is a bi-weave shield generator? <laughs> okay, um... Requires vehicle bays to be installed. Hmm. What does that mean? Because that's a vehicle bay, isn't it? I'll have a look at my class 4 slot and see if there's something there that's larger. Maybe. But at the moment it looks like I can get going. Unless I've missed something. Planetary vehicle hangar. No, they seem to be a class 2 fit. And there isn't another thing. Ah, planetary vehicle hangar, class 4. Hmm, I wonder why you'd have a class 4 one. Maybe you can have multiple vehicles. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. You could have more than one car. I don't know why you'd want more than one car, but I guess that'll come... Um... It will be explained. Right, well, <clears throat> as far as I can tell, I think I've done it. <clears throat> okay. I've still got an empty... Comp I've got an empty, though. Why have I got an empty? Discovery scanner, maybe? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Get a basic discovery scan. <laughs> Go exploring. A detailed surface scanner. Intermediate discovery. Advanced. Wow, everything's really cheap on the test server. Right. There we go. All right. <clears throat> How's the power doing? 105. Shields online. So let's turn off the cockpit canopy. Random. I never saw that before. Uh, cargo hatch off, and now we're at 100%. Just. 
<laughs> I suppose I could turn off the kill warrant scanner for now. Yeah, that's it. There you go. That's easy. Right, fire groups. I got beam lasers and a cannon. Advanced discovery scanner. What have I done here then? Fire that and the kill warrant. Oh, I see. Chaff, I'll probably use X or something. But this is the one I want to have. That. There we go. And I should be able to cycle through. All right. Okay, so back to the map, and then we'll find ourselves a rocky planet. System map. I think there's one right next to us. It had an icon on it. So we are here. I suspect that's really far away. They tend to be because they're far away. So I'm going to go with this one. What's that say? 2.5. What's this say? Yeah, it is. It's half the distance. And this is smaller as well. So if you look at this one. Okay, so I've fitted out my ship, and it's got a little car in it, so now I'm going to go and smash it into some rocky world in an attempt to drive about. Apparently, there's no volcanism or atmosphere on this one, and it's the closest world to where I'm currently docked, so that's where I'm going. Let's have a look at the planetary map. Wow, I didn't even know there was a planetary map. Oh, wait. It's, there's nothing here. Wait. Does that mean we have to collect map information? Wait, wait, what's this? There's an arena. Vasquez de Coronado. That's where I want to go. And it's independent. The workers' resistance. Right, okay. Alright, so it's time to launch the ship. Okay. Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear retracted. So far, so good. <laughs> 